Hi everyone, thanks for joining this quick demo of ServiceCall.ai. It's a um, new product that we just rolled out here at Service Fusion, and it's an AI-powered voice over IP phone system that's designed specifically for service contractors. Um, you can find more info on ServiceCall.ai or help.servicefusion.com. There's a lot of great resources there, a lot of articles that'll show you how you can apply this uh, product to your service company um, and how you can integrate it into your service organization. Uh, now, as a service contractor, you probably um, advertise in a number of different channels. You probably have a profile on uh, Home Advisor, Angie's List, um, Yelp. You probably have some Google ads that you're running or at least have a local profile. Uh, you most likely have a website. You most likely have a Facebook or a Twitter profile. And um, anytime you uh, promote your business, anytime you put out an ad or, or just list your company name next to, uh, next to a phone number, uh, you want to be able to track those channels. You want to be able to track those phone calls and link them to estimates or jobs that are being produced as a result. Uh, because it's not hard to uh, generate a lot of phone calls to your phone lines, but it's extremely hard to figure out which of those phone calls turn into jobs and estimates and which ones of them turn into profitable jobs, because that's what it comes down to at the end of the day, um, is how profitable those channels are. And servicecall.ai sol uh, solves that problem. Now, with servicecall.ai, you can also start advertising your numbers as call or text numbers. So your customers can text you their initial service request. They don't have to call you anymore. They don't have to uh, be on hold or be worried about being on hold. Now, all they have to do is just simply send you a text message. You can then either follow up with a phone call or create a profile right from within servicecall.ai, which then creates it in Service Fusion, and then schedule an on-site estimate or a, um, or a work order right on the spot without having to uh, pick up the handset once. So again, servicecall.ai gives you that ability. Um, and then ultimately you can reduce overhead and improve customer satisfaction at the same time by offering your customers an option to connect with the service technician directly whenever they have a scheduled estimate or a job. Uh, think of it as a maybe like an Uber Eats delivery, for instance. If you have um, an order out and you're calling, you're trying to get all of your driver, it is a lot easier for you to connect directly with the driver as opposed to going through a call center and having that call center connect with the driver and play an operator. Here, you're giving your customer an option to get exactly what they called for, and it's uh, you know maybe to check on the status of a tech or maybe to relay a gate code to them or let them know that they're running behind. And so instead of having the call center operator or your customer customer service rep, uh, play, play an operator in this chain. They can simply go directly to the tech, and if the tech chooses not to accept the phone call or they don't answer because they are in the middle of something, that phone call can can still get routed to your call center. So the customer, well, you will never see a, a drop in customer satisfaction in this whole process, but you can eliminate a lot of the a lot of the manual labor that your office staff has to do and all the call juggling your um, office staff has to do by having this process in place. Uh, so it's a, it's an extremely useful feature. We've gotten a lot of positive feedback from our customers, I encourage you to, uh, to explore it in more detail um, through one of the KB articles. Now, as you know, Serious Fusion has always been able to tell you a um, story, a story about your customer's journey that started when uh, the phone call actually ended. And so when the phone call ends and the customer books a, um, a, a job or an on-site estimate, that's where Service Fusion steps in and that's where we're able to track what happens to that phone call. Now, with the introduction of ServiceCall.ai, we can tell you a lot more about that customer's journey. We can start tracking it from the very beginning and until the very end when the customer pays you. So just by looking at this dashboard, I can see how many customers called me over that period of time. I can see how many calls were successful. I can see how many calls were um, uh, they had to roll to voicemail as opposed to being attended to by live operators and how many calls were abandoned by customers before they got a chance to speak to someone live. I can also tell how many customers called for, uh, about a particular reason. So I can see all the call reasons and outcomes here. I can see how we're performing as a, um, as a sales organization because you have your sales organization within your service company. Um, and so you can see how many leads you've uh, generated and how it stacks up against your targets. You can see if your calls are producing leads at all and if those leads are turning into sales. And again, all of that is available to you at a glance here on this dashboard. You also have access to reports and we'll cover those in just a minute. But then um, over here on the right, we have calls by referral source. So you can tie every single phone call, every time you get a new number for every source 
that you you, you have out there, um, that phone call is going to be logged and attributed to that source. So that at the end of the week or the month or whatever uh, the time period that you use for your marketing budgeting, you can look back and say, all right, so we have 23 phone calls that were generated by this one source. And then we had seven that were generated uh, by our spring special postcard that we sent out. So that again, every time a customer calls or texts that number, it's, it's logging it against um, that particular source, that particular channel. So it's super easy to tell exactly where your business is coming from and how efficiently um, that, how efficiently those channels are working for you. You can also check your agent's individual and team performance. So you can see how many calls they've handled, how their average talk, uh, talk time is stacking up against others, and then how their conversion ratios are stacking up um, one against another. So you can use your top performance results um, to help the underperforming reps um, Im improve their um, their performance on the phones and improve their conversion ratios. You have access to recorded phone calls, so you can use that in coaching sessions with your underperforming agents. Um, again, it's all available to you here on the, through the dashboard and through the reporting section. And it's extremely easy to navigate through this um, dashboard um, as well as the reporting section. But here, if I wanted to see how we did last month as opposed to this month, all I have to do is just uh, select it from the toggle and um, hit apply. And so now we can see exactly what the call reasons were, for example, last month. And so now as a, as a manager or as a service manager, as an owner of the company, when you're looking at this dashboard and you say, hey, look, we have 9% uh, of phone calls that are coming in um, regarding our uh, technician statuses. So maybe we should go ahead and take advantage of that ring attack feature and route our customers' phone calls directly to service techs so that we can um, at least eliminate some of, the, some of the phone calls that come into the office. Um, or if a lot of those phone calls are about checking pricing well how does that um how does what does that translate to over here in the in the lead calls to lead ratio and the lead to win ratio is that really are, are we really capturing every single lead and are we doing a good job converting those calls um to sales calls into um estimates or um or jobs so again a lot of this data is extremely useful because you know not knowing a lot of this can really really cost you money um and um we, we strongly encourage you to take advantage of all the, every bit of data that's available to you here now I'm just going to cover some of the some of the basics of um, service call that I hear through this interface, and then we're going to dive a little bit deeper into um, reports and um, some of the settings. Uh, for example, inbox is your personal inbox. This is where you would um, receive all of your text messages, all of your uh, voicemails um, and voicemail transcriptions. Uh, but you can also be a member of um, other shared inboxes, so you can create inboxes or departments uh, for um, every uh, every group or every organization with or sub organization within your company. So you could have schedulers, you could have uh, part department, you can have accounting, um, just, you know, you can have as many of those groups or departments as you'd like, and then you can route phone calls to those groups or make them um, make them part of a call queue. Um, and that's, uh, we're going to cover that later in the settings. Reports is basically um, something that you can use on a, on a fairly regular basis. Um, a lot of a lot of the customers that we've introduced this to um, use it uh, essentially daily. Uh, so you can go through here as a, as a manager, as a, um, you know, as a customer service manager, a service manager, or a business owner, again, uh, you can go in here and you can choose from one of these eight filters and then you can say show me how we did last week and show me every uh, phone call uh, that was regarding checking pricing and uh, technician status for example hit apply and then you get those phone calls you can see that one of them was to check pricing and we scheduled an estimate and you can see exactly what that estimate was so if you click on a link it'll take you directly to service fusion and open up that estimate so you can you can start tracking what's being converted and what's not being converted and if you happen to find some something that has not been converted. So we'll check uh, changes to last month and we'll say, uh, we want everything where a customer called to check pricing. So here we had three phone calls about checking pricing and one of them was not converted. So you can now decide whether you'd like to listen to this phone call and address it as a sales training opportunity or just simply tag it as something that could not have been converted into um, into an estimate or an on-site estimate or a job. Uh, so again, it gives you a lot of insight into what happens within your uh, within your service organization. Um, Recorded phone calls is something that you can just refer back to and, and listen to any calls that were recorded within uh, within a certain time range. So it's, it's extremely easy to listen to those, uh, to those phone calls. All you have to do is just uh, click the play button um, and you can pause it throughout the, throughout the phone call, throughout the recording, um, just like you would in any other audio file. Um, inside settings, this is where you would buy phone numbers. So if you are, um, if let's just say you've decided to run a new ad, whether it's on Google ads or someplace else, or you wanted to uh, send out a new uh, marketing campaign, for instance, you wanted to start uh, promoting your spring specials. Um, and um, all you'd have to do is just um, 
click on get a new number and uh, let's just say I wanted to give my customers uh, I'm going to advertise it to my customers in um, Dallas so all I have to do is just say show me all the phone numbers that started 972 area code if I didn't like any of the numbers here all I'd have to do is just click search again and it's going to give me a new set of results and I can keep doing this until I find the number that I like um, so for instance I said this is the number I wanted you can go ahead and add this to your account and that's all I have to do now if you wanted to create a special call flow and if you um, look at some of those uh, some of the KB articles there's one that describes call flows and how they can be set up and how you can create custom call flows for different occasions um, for instance in this case if I was running a, a special that is for um, spring coil cleaning special and um, I wanted those customers to hear a specific message when they dialed in or I wanted them to get a specific reply when they texted in for service um, something that I wouldn't necessarily want other customers to hear when they called our main line then I would set up a new flow and in that new flow I could insert the audio message that I wanted them to hear so uh, call flows are pretty powerful and you can set up, uh, set up an unlimited number of call flows within your system now we'll go ahead and uh, just use a simple example we'll say set up a call flow later and so now that I've added this number all I have to do is just uh, link it to a specific call flow and um, in a specific marketing source. So this is the number we just added. We're going to go ahead and uh, link it to our standard uh, Ringatech flow. And then we are going to go ahead and link it to a, um, a referral source. And I created this in Service Fusion previously because it's pulling all of your referral sources from uh, from Service Fusion. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and say Google Ads Spring 2019. And that's all I had to do. So up here, you'll see a message saying that this phone number was connected to Google Ads Spring 2019. So anytime a phone number is dialed by uh, by a customer, it's going to attribute that phone call to that specific marketing channel. So now let me go ahead and dial this number. I have a soft phone pulled up on, on my other screen. So I'm going to go ahead and dial that number and uh, we will see how it uh, pops up on the screen. Now, this is gonna be uh, linked to an existing customer that's already in the system, and if the customer is not in the system yet, it will um, simply display it as an unknown um, caller with their caller ID. But now I'm actually dialing this uh, from a different phone here. Thank you for calling Fusion Heating and Cooling. To schedule a service appointment, please press one for billing. So here we see a phone call this coming a call in. For Jill. To accept, press one. Now we're in an active conversation with a customer. So in this case, we had an existing customer that had a profile already in the system, and he responded to an ad, a campaign that we ran on Google. So again, this phone call was now attributed to that particular marketing source, marketing channel. Here in the background, we see that this customer already has a job uh, that was back in December of 2016. So we can uh, click on it and, and get, uh, get more details on, on this particular customer. We can also add some notes to the phone call. And then we can choose a call reason and a call outcome. And so from here, if a customer decided to schedule an appointment with you, all they'd have to do is just say yes, and then you would click on create an estimate or create a job and proceed to the next step. It'll automatically open up a window in Service Fusion, allowing you to schedule that appointment with all the customer's details populated. So here, I'll give you an example. Customer's details are populated, and then at this point, all I'd have to do is just fill in the blanks. Now, if this uh, phone call did not result in an estimate or a scheduled um, job, all you'd have to do is just tag it, note it, and then once the phone call is completed, you can go ahead and finish the call, and it's going to automatically update your call uh, call log and call reports so that your management um, or you know, yourself, obviously, could, um, could refer to it later. All right, so that's how the, uh, the call center operates. Now, when you're dialing out, when you're calling customers, all you'd have to do is just type in a part of their phone number or um, a name, and it's gonna automatically uh, pull them up in the search results. So if I wanted to call Mike back, all I'd have to do is just, again, type in part of the phone number or their name, select them off the list, click call, and start dialing. Now let's go back to the uh, main um, interface. In this case, we'll work with an existing call flow. So we'll press edit. And uh, this call flow is a ring attack flow. So it's basically checking to see if a customer has um, an existing estimate or a job and offers them an option to connect directly with the tech. If they choose not to uh, take advantage of that option or they don't press anything at all, uh, the system will then proceed to the next step 
and that would be the menu in our case. You can drag just about any applet here into this um, interface and into every step, and you can offer your customers as many or as few options as possible. You can also choose to set a menu, for example, um, and the menu uh, being time-based. So first step is um, to set our business hours. So we have uh, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., Monday through Friday, and then we're closed on Saturdays and Sundays. And then our open applet is going to offer them one set of options, and our closed applet is going to offer them another set of options. So in this case, um, and there's actually a KB article that covers this particular setup, we can give them choices and we can say, hey, if you'd like to check us out on the web after hours, we have some after hours options available there where you can schedule an appointment or check our pricing or check our uh, service coverage area. Um, or you can uh, send them another text message and offering them um, another um, avenue to get to you. Um, or you can send them directly to voicemail and you can route that voicemail to a specific department or a specific um, individual. Um, and so again, you have a lot of controls over um, how the call flow is set up, how many call flows are there, uh, whether or not they're time based. And um, you can also set up special call flows for maybe vendors, um, some call flows for parts ordering, because they may not necessarily need to go down the same channel. Um, or anytime you uh, place a collections phone call, that, that call back could go directly to uh, an individual or it could be uh, routed directly to a, a group of individuals. And again, this is all this is all um, all the setup that you would accomplish through a call flow. So there's a lot of flexibility. You can create an unlimited number of call flows within uh, service call.ai. Uh, call reasons and outcomes. This is pretty straightforward and you can basically set up uh, just about any number of reasons or, or outcomes. Um, ideally, you would probably want to keep them uh, to um, to about you know 10 to 12 options so that the uh, the agents have a, a very clear set of options to choose from as opposed to um, you know guessing um, to, to see which one is most applicable. Uh, but again, you have full control over those lists. My devices is something that you can um, add as a as an as an existing phone number, for example. It could be your cell phone, could be your landline, could be any other uh, direct number that's not a service call that AI number, some place where you would like to be reached or for you know, some place where you'd like to be called if you are not signed into the soft phone um, or our call center interface, uh, which is uh, right here. Uh, voicemail is, um, it, it kind of speaks for itself. You would just set up your voicemail. Uh, there aren't any rules. It's just simply um, your voice prompt and you can record it as a, you can either type in the text and just have um, have our system um, dictated. You can upload an MP3 file or you can record it using your phone by just simply typing in your phone. Uh, service call will, uh, service call AI will dial your number, uh, prompt you to record it, press, uh, ask you to press one to accept it and then uh, move on to the next step. Uh, so that'll be saved. Setting up users or adding users to your um, account is extremely easy. Uh, they're all tied to your Service Fusion um, uh, Workforce Management profile. So they have to do is just select someone off the list. It's going to automatically populate them. And then all you have to do is just choose whether or not you'd like for them to be an admin. Um, you can change this later after you've added them. Uh, but again, it's extremely easy to add a user to your account. You can also remove them. So as you scale up and down, um, you know, as seasonality picks up and you need to add more users to your, uh, to your account, it is extremely easy to do. And then when, when things cool off, you can always remove those users from your profile uh, so that you don't get billed for them. Uh, system configuration is something you'll probably we have to explore once. It's uh, it's extremely easy uh, to understand. Uh, there's not a whole lot to it. And then once you are fully set up with uh, the call reasons, outcomes, and some of the system configuration, for the most part, it's just going to be adding new phone numbers um, and then uh, using your call reporting uh, dashboard uh, to get a better insight into your business. Um, I hope you enjoyed this demo. Uh, we look forward to uh, continuing to work with you on this product. Uh, so please uh, send us your feedback, send us your comments as you start to use it. Um, and um, we, again, we look forward to working with you on this.